Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Here you can see I have the gorgeous Beach Hut Man from Amouage and I will go through the notes with you. I will tell you how I think the scent is and then eventually I will give you my conclusion if you should consider this scent or just look away and uh, find something else for the summer. So this is a very popular scent for men from Amouage. It was released in 2017 and I think the bottle as you can see is really gorgeous. Goes very very well with the name Beach Hut. So the hut from the oh. beach. This is a green fresh scent and the perfumer is Elise Bena. I will now spray it on this paper strip and tell you how I think it is. It's very powerful, so I didn't want it to spray on the skin because it will never come off. Yeah, green, fresh, like I said. It smells like uh, freshly cut grass right now. It has a very gorgeous start, I can tell you that. So it has many notes, I will just name now a few. Mint, Galbanum, Orange Blossom, Ivy, Moss, Vetiver. These are a few of the notes. So this perfume in here, as you can see, it has also a gorgeous color. This is a very good performer. Literally will last until the shower and even some more. So if some of the latest amouages maybe have questionable performance, this doesn't have this as beast as interlude 53 is i would go to say it's almost annoying how powerful it is because for me at least i like at some point that the perfume is fading a little and you can apply something else or reapply the original one but this one it just projects and projects and projects until you get the shower or let's go to the review right now I am not a big fan of green scents. On the contrary, I even dislike green scents. This perfume is quite polarizing for me because sometimes I like it very much and I say, oh my God, what a gorgeous scent. And sometimes burn it with fire. I cannot even spray it because it just turns my stomach away. Of course, it's subjective and it's also about my mood and what I ate and how it's outside and whatever. But what I'm trying to say is that this is a very dynamic, full with natural scent, which one day might smell in a way, one day it might smell differently, it transforms. It's just, it's art, it's olfactory art done by Elise Benat. And I appreciate how nice and complex and well blended it is sometimes. It's also quite powerful for my taste sometimes. I know it's a good problem to have with the scent, but for me as being the victim, it's not so good. Now in the first stage of the scent, so like after I sprayed it at the beginning, it has a very refreshing, very gorgeous, very minty start, which is something that this is catching my attention from the Beach Hut Man. And as the name says, Beach Hut, I don't smell in here sand, I don't smell in here algae, I don't smell in here the heat of the sand. So the name could not be more wrong for this scent. So basically, if you are thinking, ah, I'm gonna wear this when I go to the sea, I don't know. And why I say that I don't know? Because in the dry down, I was wearing it yesterday and I sprayed it under the shirt. And later in the dry down, three, four hours later, it gave me such, a, such an annoying smell of dry sweat. I wasn't having my own dry sweat, it was this. Uh, it has a smell of dry sweat burned by the sun. So imagine you are in holiday somewhere at the sea and you go to the beach, you stay there for a few hours, you are sweating because it's very hot outside and the sweat that you got, it gets burned by the sun and then finished by the wind and maybe you get some sand also from the wind. So that burned skin I get from this one. I know it sounds very complex and confusing. For me, it was also very confusing when I said, wait a second, this smells like when I go to the beach and I get cooked in the sun. If that was their association with beach hot man, then the name is correct. But other than that, uh, they are uh, in different ways. 
Me and this scent, we have a love and hate relation. Sometimes I spray it with a lot of joy and I say, well, today I'm gonna wear this gorgeous scent from Amouage. And then three, four hours later, I'm overwhelmed by it and I'm like, oh my God, I cannot wait to go home and change my clothes because you only can get away from it if you change your clothes. Washing your uh, um, wrist or so, it will not help. See, now we are almost 10 minutes in this review and the smell is still very nice and honestly on this paper strip the smell stays very nice for some reason so on the skin it evolves in a very bad way so maybe it's just my skin it doesn't work well with my chemistry who knows now it's time to go to the conclusion what does this scent remind me of honestly it's quite unique with this mint and this green uh, uh, character to it so uh, from this regard is a unique smell. What about longevity and sillage? Do I need to say more? It's stellar. It will last forever. With only one spray you will smell forever. So on this regard 10 out of 10 for performance for this scent. What about versatility? Given that after a few hours at least on my skin it has this dry sweat vibe in dry down. I'm not sure you would like to wear such a scent in an official setting, maybe at work or maybe if you go on a date or if you go uh, to have an interview. I wouldn't go so far to say that Beach Hot Man is the right choice. You will have definitely better options in your collection. So it's not very versatile from this regard. If you want to go out or go with your friends and have a different smell for the colder times, I mean spring, when it's not too cold, not too warm, for spring I think it's great, it's very fresh. For summer it might be a bit too powerful and then in the autumn it will be again uh, very good. As a score, I will give the Beach Hot Man an 8 out of 10. Yeah, for some reason, I don't really like it. And it's funny because I have a bottle and I say right now in front of you, I don't really like it. Sometimes I cannot wait to come home and change my shirt if I sprayed it in the morning. And the scent DNA is very unique and very daring. I am the living proof. This will not grow on you. This is either you like it from the beginning, you love it from the beginning, or if you don't like it, then stay away because this has the quality of not growing on me for some reason. From originality uh, perspective this is a 10 out of 10. It's extremely original. This is what made Amouage the brand that is today because they were creating daring scents and very powerful even unpleasant sometimes scents but just for the art of perfumery. I think Amouage Beach Hot is uh, in that category of creativity Please let me know in the comments below what do you think about Beach Hot Man from Amouage. If this is a scent that you love and you have in your collection or it's also for you a bit too powerful and you don't appreciate its strength so much. And I hope to see you soon on the channel again. Stay healthy. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.